Whether you want to drive one of these, or maybe an electric van like this, and if you like delivering packages to customers and seeing all the different houses and front doors, and you like driving down dirt roads and subdivisions with packages like these, and you enjoy the open road and driving to familiar places and new places, maybe you should be an Amazon delivery driver. If you're thinking about being an Amazon delivery driver, here are some things that you need to think about, and you're going to need to choose which DSP to work for. I'm going to show you some of the common differences between DSPs, and one, one of the examples I'm going to show you is my actual DSP. The other three are from other DSPs. You'll need to decide which variation works best for you and your situation. Something that I left out in the chart is that some DSPs pay weekly and some pay bi-weekly. Okay, so in example number one for DSP one, I put that it starts at $17 an hour. And despite the nationwide raise we all got this past fall, yes, there is a DSP I know of, not in Texas, that is paying $17 an hour. So if you live there, I don't know if that's good or not, but here that would not be good. Okay, so let's get into it. All right, so here we have uh, an empty chart. I'm gonna go ahead and put up the, uh, the starting pay at different DSPs. And here you can see it varies widely from $17 an hour that I referenced a minute ago, all the way up to $21 an hour. And someone just told me, I don't know if it's true, someone just told me that there's a DSP out there that starts at $22 an hour. That may be possible. I don't know. I don't claim to have a monopoly on all the information, but these are just uh, examples I was able to get myself directly. Uh, and like I said, in one of these columns, I'm not going to tell you which, but one of these is my actual DSP. So, you know, maybe where you live, $17 is, is enough. I don't know. Maybe where you live, you need $21 or $22 an hour. It's going to depend. It also depends on, you know, who are you trying to feed and take care of? Is it just you because you're in college, or are you trying to feed a family? All right, let's move on. Bonuses. Um, most of the common bonuses that DSPs give are for either performance or for doing rescues. Performance bonuses come in the form of, like, you know, your scorecard and how you're rated on your scorecard. and you know, whether you have any delivery errors on your scorecard, things like that. Uh, rescues, some DSPs will pay you to do rescues and some will not. Uh, sometimes rescues at some DSPs are mandatory and others it's optional. It's kind of up to you, you know, as far as which DSP you choose. Um, usually the ones that the rescues are optional, they pay you for doing a rescue extra. So it's not necessarily always a big amount, it's just a little few extra bucks. Some of the ones that DS, um, sorry, that uh, rescues are mandatory, uh, you usually don't get paid anything extra other than just working more hours. And yes, the other thing I should have brought up on the pay also is that some DS DSPs will pay you for a 10 hour block no matter what. So if you get done in six hours, you can go home and you'll still get your 10 hours while other DSPs only pay you for the actual hours hour you work, a minimum of four hours a day. So if you come in and, you know, they, you, they, you are an extra, they don't have a route for you, you know, or you just do uh, sweeps or something like that, you'll still get at least a minimum of four hours. Um, usually though, look at my DSP, if, we, if we're an extra, we'll do sweeps, and then that afternoon we'll do ad hoc routes. So we'll still have a mostly full day, you know. Uh, but in terms of how we get paid, you know, every DSP is different. Uh, in terms of whether it's hourly or by 10 hour blocks. Okay, so next, benefits. Um, I think all DSPs provide or offer health insurance. I think that's because of Obamacare and, you know, I think the only time you can get away with not offering health insurance to employees if you're a business that's less than nine employees. 
And most DSPs that I've ever seen have far more than nine employees. And, and that's just drivers. Then on top of that, you have maintenance, you have dispatch and, you know, administration, payroll, all this other stuff. So there's other roles also. Um, so, you know, so as far as I know, all DSPs provide or offer health insurance. Now, where it can differ is sometimes they offer just the minimum. You just get some, some medical insurance and that's it. Some offer life insurance, some don't. Some offer disability, some don't. Uh, some participate in the last mile program uh, and some don't. I would highly recommend looking for a DSP that participates in the last mile program with Amazon if you're interested in going to college or school or if you're already in college. Uh, because this last mile program, uh, once you become eligible for it, you'll get an email like this. And with that, you can sign up and start getting paid for your uh, college uh, tuition, but you get paid in advance. So it's not like you have to pay the school or get financial aid and then get paid back and some other weird three ring circus kind of those things, who knows. Um, anyway, not all DSP offer 401ks. Some do, some don't. Is that important to you? If this is just a, a gig to get you by until you find something else, maybe it's not important to you. If you're in college, maybe it's not important to you. If you are kind of a more of a seasoned career driver, this is your full-time job and you like it, you're getting paid well, you know, you're above, you're getting paid above the minimum starting pay that I've listed on here. Hey, 401ks might be important to you. You might want to be looking at your future. But like I said, um, everybody gets paid different. Flexibility. Um, some DSPs are pretty flexible with scheduling. They'll kind of let you pick whatever days you want to work and the days you don't. Some are a little bit more rigid. You can be flexible on days you want as long as you work at least one day or one weekend day. So either a Saturday or a Sunday. Some are pretty rigid. You work this block or this block. That's it. Like maybe uh, Sunday to Wednesday and Wednesday to Sunday. Sorry, Wednesday to Saturday. And, and those are the two blocks they offer and you got to work one of those. Um, so you'll have to ask those questions during your interview or if you can find it online or ask drivers in your area. Uh, but yeah, the flexibility varies greatly. Next is uniforms. And this varies greatly too. Just like everything on this chart. So um, as you can see here, some give uh, two sets of uniforms. I should have put it on here, but some actually give more than two sets for free, and they give it to you up front. Some they give it to you, but you gotta pay for it. And some they'll give it to you, but you gotta, and it's free. And some they'll give it to you, and you get lots of them, and it's still free. Some of them there's no jackets, no hats, no rain jackets, no winter jackets. There's no ball cap or beanie or sun hat. Some you get all of that for free. So you know, runs the gamut. Depends on how important those things are to you in terms of while you're doing your job. When you're out there on hot days, cold days, sunny days, if you get sunburn really easy, you might want to make sure that you have a, a sun hat. You know, with a big brim, go the way around. Some DSP are very strict. You must be in full Amazon, Amazon uniform, no matter what. And there's no tolerance for variations from that. You cannot wear anything that is not Amazon uh, branded. Other DSPs, they don't give a crap. They turn to blind, blind eye. You know, um, you show up in a personal pants, personal hoodie, and just a, a blue vest. Um, I think a lot of that comes from the station you're at and how much the station enforces those rules, which then, you know, those rules get pushed down to the DSPs, who then get pushed down to us. So I think a lot of it has to do with the leadership at your particular uh, station. Okay, so extra rules. What do I mean by that? So, so um, some DSPs, you know, they say, here's Amazon rules. That's it. Just get in the damn, dra damn van and drive. And deliver packages. We don't care. Some have more rules. Like, here's Amazon rules. Follow those. Uh, but we have some extra rules because of X, Y, and Z. 
whatever, I don't know. Maybe your DSP has had a lot of problems with a particular something, whatever. And so they've implemented rules to prevent those somethings from happening or whatever. And some DSPs have a lot of rules. And, you know, uh, and they're very strict. Uh, again, um, it varies from DSP to DSP and probably station to station. Again, it's one of those things where leadership at each station is different and what they enforce and don't enforce with DSPs is going to be different. Or how much they enforce it, I say. So, as you can see, this is kind of the basics that you want to think about when you start or when you choose a DSP to work for. Um, you know, everybody's going to be in a different situation. So, one example on here might work for you, while someone else that may not work for. You just have to choose, you know, which one's for you. But uh, that's it. That's all I got for this video. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope it was informative and helpful. And if you would subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate that. Hit, a, hit the like button, that'd be awesome. If you don't like this video, hit the, hit the dislike button twice to show that you're really dissatisfied. Um, anyway, I'll try to come out with another, uh, you know, on the road video uh, in the next, uh, sometime in the next week. I've actually got a lot of stuff recorded. I just haven't um, gotten around to editing it. And last week I hurt my ankle, so it's been a little rough. Uh, but um, you can also find me in some of the forums online. I don't know if you knew that or not, but if you look up some of the forums, you'll find me in there and talking to other drivers and posting, you know, stuff about my day as it happens uh, and the weird stuff that happens. Uh, anyway, have a good day. I'll talk to you later.